How's it going? I'm Skiri Jones from Elvis Duran and The Morning Show, and this is CEO Unplugged. And uh, today we're sitting down with Victor Mohan, the CEO of Mohan's Custom Tailors. Yes. Now, it's important, obviously, to, uh, I mean, the fact that you are, this is, you're the man in charge, you are the president CEO, right? And you always have to look good, and he smells good, too. You can't smell us through this. But. Yeah, yeah. So I always have to play the part, as you can see. I feel underdressed. Because uh, you look like a million bucks. Yeah, but you're Scary Jones. Oh, oh, so you're saying I don't have to try hard? Not at all. Well, anyway, first of all, and I don't know if we can get a, a close shot of this. He's wearing his Mohan's, uh, uh, Mohan's uh, custom tailored tu- uh, suit, suit. suit, not yeah. a tuxedo. Uh, but look at the stitching. It's not quite stitching. Look at those stripes. Oh, it says Mohan's on it. Mohan's on the stripes, yeah. Right. So. I wore this on purpose, actually, today, obviously, because um, another athlete last year wore the same type of suit but used a bad type of message Mm -hmm. on it. Oh. So I wanted to bring it back, but I wanted to show a positive message. Sure. Yeah. Well, very nice. I'm trying to show the audience that, yes, you can wear a suit like this and put something nice on it. Mm -hmm. Your name the name of your company, <laughs> the name of your dog. You, you know can do this I mean? for anybody at, at yes, Mohan's. Yes, yes, So we make this. Uh, we also personalize lining. I love it. This I is used beautiful. To, I used to be into my bodybuilding a lot. Like, I was a hardcore gym rat. So that will always be a part of my heart, you know? So, so, it's, so it's okay to do stuff that explains your character and the kind of person you definitely, are on the lining and your tie especially not only do you have to own the suit but you really have to own it right you understand own the suit sure like it represents you so this is what represents me you know and uh so i was thinking you know we have all these books of all my linings and then i was thinking to myself well i'm not gonna pick this 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 because i'm only into bodybuilding so guess what i did I put bodybuilding, put bodybuilding in every suit that I own now. Right. Wow. Everything that I own, it's like a given, this lining. Because as you can see, the colors. Yeah. It's, it's great. I so love damn it. colorful that it goes with every suit that I have. I, every color, it's it's like a given. So it's bodybuilding. I, I love the contrast. You're looking sharp, I have to say. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to, you know, kind of get into it for the people that are uh, watching this. Yes. Uh, you know, because a lot of people are, are future CEOs, and they're wondering how do you get from here to there. And uh, you know, you, you, and your family have ah, built a legacy or yes. a legacy in the building, right? So, yes. Uh, could you first give us a little background about Mohan's? Uh, huh. how, where did you guys start, and and how you got to where you are now? It's a big question. It is a <laughs> huge question, actually. Let's take it back to 1972 when my father, Mr. Mike Mohan, uh, he opened up the business and, uh, you know, he was, uh, it's really hard at first. Mm -hmm. It's really hard. He was telling me about uh, how my mom used to support him like all the way through. It's it's hard at first. Uh, Then 1978 is when his luck changed. Why? Because I was born. Ah. But but no 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 no. Okay. <laughs> I'm being very humble about this. We we lucked out. The nurse in the hospital was best friends of Patrick Ewing's mother. Okay. The be- famous basketball player, New yes, York Knicks legend. The, the Hall of Fame legend Patrick Ewing. You know, like the nurse was uh, really curious about my father. Oh, you know, you dress very nicely. What do you do? Oh, I'm a custom tailor. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I have um a friend who who, like the son, is a professional athlete um, about to go on the Knicks. So we made his draft suit. No way. All right. Then my, then my father made a deal with Ewing. And Ewing said, I'll happily be in your advertisements. Put me in. And, you know, Ewing was like the king of New York. Once he started advertising in the New York Post, boom. Business was booming afterwards. All right. Everyone needs Phew. that... That break, that big break. So Patrick Ewing was it for your dad and the company. Patrick Ewing, and two years later, mm-hmm. so now we're talking about 1980. Right. Walt Frazier walks in the door. Of course, because Patrick Ewing is wearing your dad's stuff. Yeah, but he's not the style guy. So Walt Frazier said, I'm the style guy. Oh. I'm the New York legend. Uh huh. I'm the champion. I'm the real Hall of Famer here. Right. You should be advertising me- with me. So they cracked a deal ah, right there. Right okay. there, they cracked a deal. 
so with your company now as it is today, how many how many employees do you have? Because I just want to paint the picture, okay. like an overview for people that, that have, might not have ever Great heard of question. Mohans. Okay, so in my factories in Hong Kong, we have about 20. Right. All right. And in my flagship office in the city, we have about 12. Mm. Sometimes, uh, you know, a son or daughter might rebel and be like, I don't want to do what my parents do for a living. Yeah. So what made you say, like, I'm on board I'll tell you. with my dad's company? Okay. Uh, for a long time... I was uh, confused. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I, but I grew up in the business, and that's what I knew how to do. And I knew how. And a part of my business is to take care of the customer. I knew about that, and my father thought it was best, anyways, that I work outside of the office first, get experience outside of the office, the real world, get a real job. So I started working at Sears. So he didn't hand it to you on a silver platter no. and said, you know what? You could just relax, man, because eventually this will all be yours. Yeah. You, you actually had to work. Yes. To be, uh, that's great that he taught you that those values. I worked at Sears. At Sears. Yeah. Okay. Um, I worked at Sears. Uh, I remember my I, I had a strict manager, Rita Hicks. She wanted to know why I was working there in the first place. Like, I was very overqualified. She was like, you're overqualified. Uh, how come you're not working for your dad? Uh, you know, you're like... I see his ads in the right. papers, like why, and I told him it's because I got to pay my wanted, dues. And you he have want, to pay my he, dues. He wanted you to see how the other half lives before he can allow you into the fold. So, what separates Mohans from the competition? The experience and uh, the quality and the construction of our clothing. Oh, we really? are ranked number one. Yes, we are number as far one as, as, far as quality yeah. and the, the now other tailors fabrics? they might have the same materials. Right. But I'm not talking about materials. I'm talking about the way we build our clothing, the construction. Oh, wow. You know, yeah, mm -hmm. we hand sew. We properly hand sew. We use the best materials. Mm. The interlining is what it's all about. So mm. if you're versus uh, most of the most of the competition, I'm not going to, I'm not here to bash anybody. Sure. But I know from feedback of clients that come in, new clients that have tried other places that, and, and I'm like, and I, and I ask them, Why'd you stop going there? And they're like, oh, you know, um, the suits look great for a while. Then all of a sudden, they started to change shape. Mm. Do you know why that is? Why is that? 90% of the stuff that you get outside is like glued. They call it glued suits. They glue it. You remember back in the 80s when uh, you used to um, use this uh, iron, a hot iron, and you used to like iron on something on, on a, a t-shirt? Sh yeah. You know, okay. That so, stuff never lasted. They do that with interlining. It's a it's it's a cheaper way of making the suit. It's a dirt cheap way, and that's why you have suits that cost forty dollars or fifty dollars. And I'm thinking, wow. And then they have like a, a buy one and get one free. That's what for, my mom and dad used to buy me when I was a kid. So obviously, so, what sets you guys suits? Yeah, okay. So you guys don't do glued. No, no, absolutely not. We we hand sew, uh, and because we hand sew, the shape. Remains the same. It's mm -hmm. always perfect. We're ah. perfectionists. And they're made to last at least 10 to 12 years. What was the most outrageous suit you made and for who was that? And was that your favorite person to work with? Outrageous suit would be, of course, Walt Frazier. Oh, Walt Frazier. Yes. Okay. Walt what, what did it look like? Frazier. Uh, the famous suit that he wears that he's known for, it's the cow suit. It's the it looks cow like suit. It looks like a cow, like a black and white spotted suit? Uh... It's not black and white. It's uh, it's like black white. It has a little bit of beige in it. Yeah. Uh, re regarding celebrities, um, you you mentioned all this clientele. Yeah. Uh, anyone, yeah. anyone from the last five years uh, who might be your favorite to work with, uh, or you still work with Clyde and he's the man. I still work with Clyde and he's the man. Okay. I mean, he's, he's, he said he's, it, not me. He's he is the man. Um, he'll always be the man. Uh, he, no one dresses like him. No one in New York yeah, I dresses certainly don't. like him. No. The thing with Clyde is that he owns he not he not only owns the suit but he owns the suit. He you see him he wears it with pride. Right. And that's a staple. That's a staple like Clyde wearing the day that you see Clyde wearing like a bland suit, you're mm -hmm. going to be like, "Clyde, are you okay?" Well, what do you guys have coming next? I mean, it's only up ah, from here. Wow. I mean, you guys, okay. you've already you've already come so far. Yes. How does Mohan's grow as now, a company I'm and not, you take it there? I'm from not going to spoil the surprise. I can't give too much information, but oh. what I can say is 1800s, like the jackets were longer, yep. right? 1900s, they were shortened. That They look like this, um, but 
looser. Mm -hmm. Now we're up to the slim fit style. But I want to shake things up. Shake things up. Are you completely. hinting to me that you're actually going to turn the the suit industry on its ear to yeah. Mohans, and yeah. you're going to be like, everyone's going to be copying us because I have an original idea that yeah. hasn't been done yeah. yet. Yes, yes. Well, okay, you exactly. can't share that with us. I'm not going to share that, with, but artists are working on this as we speak. All right. Well, yeah. when can we see this new, this new debut in the world of suits? Because suits haven't changed very much over the years. I'd like to, you know, when when, when are we going to be looking at? In about a half a year's time. Oh, Six so months. this year, in 2019. This year, I do want to launch something Mark this year. his words, something revolutionary to the suit world yeah, is coming. I'm excited. Yeah, I, I, I really want, like, I, I'm all about innovation. Right. Innovation is key, just right. like Apple. You know, Apple is about yeah. innovation. So suits should be about innovation. I think everybody is just copying right. everybody else. Is it gonna Tailors be like, are just copying everybody else. Is it gonna That's be, why I wanted to wear this suit right here, because I, I want to stand out. I want to be different. And I credit all this stuff to Mr. Versace, who I've been watching, who oh. had a great vision, and that's why his company is where it's at, you know, because sure. of his vision, because he used to create these dresses that were, uh, you know, just, I mean, he used belts. He used his belt as a part of, a, you know, a dress. So it's like, as yeah. long as you have an idea, you know, the key is you've got to stand out. Where can people find uh, Mohans? We are conveniently... Plug away. We are conveniently... <laughs> Uh, across the street from Grand Central Station. Yeah. We're on the Madison Avenue side, 301 Madison Avenue, third floor. The entire floor now, is ours. Now, what if someone is in Kentucky watching this? Uh, can they order suits online? Can they see what you guys have? Do you do mail order? What we do is we have um, our trunk show. So we have uh, an on-the-road kind of like a mm -hmm. salesperson sure. that'll go, that'll stop at um, the Marriott's and the Hyatt's um, in the areas, you sure. know, Boston, Philadelphia. We cover kind of like the Eastern coast. We haven't done West yet, mm -hmm. but in the future we will be. Okay. So what we do is um, so you're we regional? have the trunk shows yep. and then we advertise for it. Oh, we will be here. Like example, we will be in North Carolina on this day at this Hyatt. Visit us here. So where do people, can people follow you online, on yes, social, yes, to yes. see when the next trunk show is? MohansNYC.com. MohansNYC. M-O-H-A-N-S-N-Y-C.com. And as we get out of here, I'd like to know, because it's been bothering me this entire interview, what's in the suitcase? Okay, in the suitcase. Very good question. <laughs> so this is my style book that I wanted to show, mm -hmm. show off, and uh, we've got all the styles right here. Oh. That's and, what uh, I show. Of course, I got my... Well, every what's every, a tailor without this? So it's important to have a custom tailor like yourself, yeah, there making all the measurements all over your body, so they can design a, a suit that's that fits like a glove. Honestly, you should be coming to us because we've been we've been here for a long time. We were the pioneers. We are the sure. pioneers. Right, we're the first ones to do it. You should be coming to us. You'll be in great hands. Yeah. Satisfaction guaranteed. Perfect fit. Uh, it's a no-brainer. Try sure. us out. Well, I gotta say, uh, Victor Mohan, um, Mohan's custom tailor. You guys, you guys, you're awesome. Thanks for the insight on Thank suits. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.